feel now because I'm going to jail and I come home with nothing that is disrespecting me. So my mom went from I love you to death to where she was at because of her. And now she got to deal with that because I don't have to keep on forgiving and forgiving and forgiving because you my mom and we got the same blood. I have to deal with all the bullshit that you bringing into my life when all I'm doing is helping you. But you ain't never talked about how my mom apologized for the shit she was doing. Okay. So when you say I'm wrong, you don't know what. And I don't know what you and your mama went through, but just because your mama had you don't mean that she deserved respect because it's a lot of mamas that's 21 bad bitches. Fuck. Her kids don't deserve no fucking respect from her. So being a mother means in all things, not just because you, I came out your pussy. Coming out your pussy don't mean shit. If you don't do everything you're supposed to do after I get out your pussy, such as Ebony, the bitch ain't never cooked for her kids. That's not a fucking mother. All right, so check. All right, so cool. Cool. So my rebuttal to that, now, do is a lot of these mothers out here doing what they need to be doing as a mother? No, of course we know that. So I'm not saying that you had an angel ass mother or anything like that. What I'm saying is this, bro. When it comes down to not only disrespecting your mother, but then doing it in front of people, that should that should have been off social media. Nobody should have knew about that. Nobody knew about that. That's the, You're right. No, I understand that, that, but I didn't go live. Listen, I was already live. Bro, let me let me let me just finish. As a man, would you agree? Would you agree that sometimes when we are wrong in certain circumstances, it don't change in our favor? Like, let's say your mother could be disrespecting you, that we still got to remain to be a man in that situation. That we should still be a man, regardless of the circumstances, right? Would you agree? That got to be real. You don't know. You don't know. It's times when disrespect is at a max. It's a lot of people that's going to have, you going to have the utmost respect. Mm -hmm. Just like you do. You a businessman and you a boss. You got your own agency. As a boss, you should never go live cussing out your employer like you did Masterpiece. You should never get on live and display your feelings for the app about what you did for him because as a businessman and a boss, you can never talk to a grown-up like that. If you fired, you fired. Bro, like we're not going to deflect on anything. Like I'm just, We're just talking straight to you. We ain't deflecting. You said you got to be a man at all times, and I'm telling you it's going to be times where you're not going to be a, you go get into your door deals. It's only so not much my mother, disrespect somebody right, go so goddamn cool. tolerate. All right, so we different. All right, cool. So, all right, cool. Ain't no judge. You responded to it. We just different from that. I never do it with my mother. You would do it with your mother if she disrespect you. I get it. All right, cool. So this, now you said about the the um, the rape allegations, bro. The uh, the 18 stitches and shit like that. So now you're saying I'm not a rapist, right? But then you say I'm a sex offender. So now let's get to that part. When have I ever registered as a sex offender when I don't got that charge? That's all, I, I just want to clear up some things. You don't have to, you don't have to be a that, rapist that, to register as a sex offender. You have to get a sexual charge to be a sex offender. And it's going to be record of it. My name is Antonio Dewan Keller. It's going to be record of me being a sex offender, bro. You can't you can't hide that. So I'm, I'm saying right. I'm saying in front of everybody. You're right. Bro, I'm just asking you a direct question. Do you have proof that I'm a registered sex offender, bro? It's man to man. We don't got to like make up. We no, I have proof that you did something heinous to that woman to where they contacted her parents and everything, according to what prison you at, when you come home and everything else that you have going. You went to trial because a lady accused you Watch this. of raping her. Uh, a lady accused you of raping her and got 18 stitches in her ass and your DNA was found inside of her. All right, so why, These are facts. Let me that. Now let me rebuttal that. And one thing I can say that I appreciate for the first time that's honorable is you didn't lie and say I was a sex offender and you didn't lie and say I was a rapist. But at the same time, you're still going off of what you heard because guess what? That woman, Sierra Hoover, even if you brought up here, never once in the full discovery is online. She never once said that I was a rape. I raped her. She never once said I did anything with her. What she said was she woke up and she didn't know what happened to her. But she never once said that I did it. So that's another. And that's why. You, that's another. That's true. Lie. That's true. So I, I'm just, that is true. Facts, though. That, that's, that's all I'm here for you. I hear the, that is true. Right, go ahead. Go ahead. That's, that's true. Right. She said that on live. Right. She said she don't know what happened. She didn't even know that she was fucked up till she took a shower. She don't know what happened. Right. She said she was drugged and she don't remember nothing. Now watch this. And that's now, why. Now watch this. I can gag the whole internet if everybody knew the truth of what really happened. I can gag the whole internet right now and have niggas really in a. And I got factual proof. And so I just wanted to come to you. Because a lot of people listen to you, bro. Like you, 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 you the voice of, of a lot of this shit. So when you say certain things like like that, say, say I'm a rap, rapist and a sexual offender, I'm just like, damn. But bro, I know you got some type of realness up in you too, where you know that you just heard certain things from my enemies, from my ops, 
And I know we don't fuck with each other because I'm up under Brandon, but at the same time, like, that's some real shit. Like, you know, because you got some people who really go off of that shit and be like, that nigga's a rapist, that nigga's a sex offender, this nigga's a bubble bull. Let me but, explain something to you, bro. You, you Let me explain up. something real quick. What, what's up? When you came on the app, when you came on this app, I had no problem with you. And I told you I ain't gonna never say nothing to you that's gonna make you talk about dude because me and dude wasn't cool. So I'm going to leave him out of what me and you got going on, period. I fuck with people that's under keys. I don't fuck with Brandon and the people that's under keys that he can try to puppet master, that he can get on the panel and talk about me and do shit like that. Because when I was cool with you, nobody talked about you. And nobody do that. When Brandon starts slipping and sliding and getting you to say little shit and sitting on the panel while he talk about me, that's when I quit fucking with you because now you're doing the shit that you said you wasn't going to do. And it's been plenty of times. I can't say that one time I seen you go live and talk about me on your own broadcast. Every receipt I got about you talking about me is you sitting with a nigga that really hate me the most. Now put money on my head and did uh, talk about everything I do. Talk about me beating bitches, talking about the bitches I fuck. And every bitch that had any allegation about me, he has backdoor, fucked them or tried to, did interviews on them. Put domestic, fake domestic charges on me. I done beat up bitches. This man has been to jail for beating up his wife in real life with receipts and pictures. And this is a person that they sit with to talk about me who might have been accused of macing a door handle. Because I keep it real. Y'all keep saying I mace my baby mama. No, nigga. No, I did not. I mace my baby mama's door handle on the inside door. And I put shit on her porch door, so when she opened the door, her hand would be in shit, and when she opened the other door with her regular hand, she can rub her face and burn the shit out of it. I ain't never even go in her house. It ain't nothing that say I did no shit like that. That's the shit I was on. Bitch had me in my feelings. That's real shit. I didn't go in the house. I didn't see her. I ain't do none of the shit they accused me of. None of that. I put shit on her door handle outside and maced her door handle on the inside door. That's what I did, and I left. I never even knocked on the door because I didn't want her to know. She wasn't even there. So why would I go in there? I put shit on the door handle because she wasn't there. So they made that up. It ain't no receipt of them saying I beat up a bitch and maced her and maced it. They make all that shit up to make the masses believe some weird shit because what they really did. But y'all go back and say that you maced your baby mama never. My baby mama was on this app under my agency and did the whole goddamn story exactly how it was wrote in the affidavit. All right, so, so let me interject real quick. So can I say something that, that can be fair, um, whether you whether you admit it or not? Can we admit that both sides kind of do overdo shit and say certain things to create a narrative? Some shit be, may be true. Some shit may be true. But can both sides do that shit? Y'all both do that shit. Both sides messy as fuck, but the thing about me, when I roast motherfuckers, I don't add 10 to it. I don't say Brandon pulled out a knife and, and cut his bitch or he tried to put her at gunpoint. I say exactly what the facts say. I don't put and sugarcoat and add 10 on it to make it sound good. Everything they do about me, they add to it. This man interviewed a woman that said I forcefully took it from her. I showed a million receipts of this woman begging me. I'm going to suck your dick as soon as I get there. I want you to nut in my face, please, daddy. And you'll let a bitch like that sit on your panel and say, I took her pussy. Oh, no. And you will believe it with real black and white in your face saying that this bitch, I didn't even know this bitch. This bitch was a fan that came to me. That's what you would believe and then add 10 to it. She said, no means no. And no means that's fake shit. Well, 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 well check this out because I, I don't want to make it seem about they ain't here to defend themselves. So I'm going I'm to keep it solely on, on me and you. Bro, uh, at the beginning of this app, I, I came I came on your live and said this and I was off my live and actually said this. And I've actually said this when I was sitting with Brandon and uh Ed. at the beginning when I first came on this app, I said, I'm a neutral person. I said I represent keys, I'm up under keys, but Pastor P ain't this shit to me. And I said, That's just how I am. I'm never gonna be controlled by what's around me. So if you can find one no no, actually you will be able to find something because after I heard you starting to slick say certain things about me that's when i started I'm, I'm gonna be real i gotta be a man that's when i started going uh feeding into shit and saying little slick shit when i was on a panel but that's because shit was already starting because i was hanging out with them that's just me being real you know but it wasn't it wasn't i feel like i didn't do anything to cause you to switch i mean what well, niggas can do whatever they want to you a grown ass man but i'm saying i didn't do anything because i, I when i was over there i was i was fucking with both sides I was a part of Keys, but at the same time, I was still keeping the cordial, cordial with everybody that was on the app. I didn't come on. I didn't come on here shade nobody. I don't even do that. Me, you know that shit. Cool.
All right, and so me. All right, so the same with me then. When I started saying shit about you, I didn't know you when you came. I didn't watch you before this. App. I don't know shit about you. After you, after you came over here, go ahead, bro. I thought it was cool. You had you a couple hoes. It seemed everybody would willingly hoes. Yeah. After I watched you and started seeing, I'm like, damn, like, dude. Honestly, he nature boy without the. Without the with a filter, Nature Boy tell you I'm gonna whoop your ass. I'm gonna do all this. The other bitches like they was getting tricked. So now I'm like, dude, ain't Polly like he tricking hoes? Like he ain't Polly. He getting hoes down here to sell pussy. Polly, right. Polly, Polly is not. I don't, if I'm Polly, ain't none of my bitches for sale. I'm Nature Boy with it. All my bitches is me. I love all. Ain't nobody fucking my bitch. I seen you tell a motherfucker you was on live. Our manny was behind you, and you displayed her like shit. You like that? You like that shit? You can get that? Huh? You go drop money like that shit? You can have that? That ain't Polly. That's pimping to me. But I know you gotta put a filter on it cool. because of your past. All right, cool. So let me say this real quick. Um, I'm sitting up here. See, yeah, I used to drama and shit. Thank you, Armani. I appreciate it. Y'all used to draw me. Y'all used to a nigga reading and trying to read back. That's not my lane. I could never, I could never spar and read with this man. So just because I'm not reading with this man, but I don't, I don't fuck with this nigga. I'm not gonna fuck with this nigga after this shit or no type of shit like that. It's just that there's two men having a conversation. I'm not trying to be his friends. I'm not. We ain't trying to hit up and be none, none of that weird shit. Like I'm not that type of nigga because he's already disrespected me and said certain type of things like that. Like 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 I already know. How and stand up. So you see, and stand on it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This conversation no, no, ain't taking back nothing I said. If I said it, I meant it. I stand on it. I'm clear enough for my my supporters, for so people can just understand why I stand. They they think if a nigga ain't rah rah and saying fuck you, nigga, that a nigga is like trying to kiss. Up. Like I don't do that. I'm a man. I got I, I got to be a man at all times. I'm just trying to have a conversation with you, so we can get it, so I can get an understanding about the things you said about me, not about Brandon, not about Ed. None of that type of shit. All right, we ain't gonna mention them no more. Yeah, I was just trying to, yeah, that's it. That's it, because I ain't trying to bring them up in there. I already know y'all be doing y'all own shit. So, back to what I was saying at the beginning. Um, we, we already did the rape. We already did the, uh, the allegations with the uh, with the motherfucker. And now the 18 stitches and all that type of shit. That still has nothing to do with me. That, that, that was something that she never said that I did to her or anything like that. You listening to her opera minds, Name TC and TC said that this is happening. And if y'all only knew why TC is saying that this is happening, because he know I'm a calm, cool, collected, and I'm solid to myself. I ain't solid to him. I ain't trying to protect him. But he know goddamn well the scenario and what went on. He knew goddamn well that I was chilling with my bitch that night. He knew goddamn well I was with Shotty laying up in the bed. And he knew God. So at the end of the day, he just know I'm not a messy nigga. He know that I don't really say shit because I already know what's going on. That's the reason why, and the only reason why I got convicted of anything, the only reason why I ever got convicted of anything in my life is because they wanted me because I was pimping. They wanted me because I was pimping, so they wanted me to get a conviction. They wanted me to flip on TC to confess because they already had information through Facebook messages in the inbox. Yeah, see, this might be some breaking news, right? They had information not only that certain things that wouldn't even derive with me, but certain things was happening even before she got out there and he told on herself. And y'all, the whole world didn't even see how he told on himself. The girl turned 18 on my birthday. We got the same birthday and they've been fucking with each other before my birthday. Before my birthday. But that's what we're going off of. But that's cool. If that's what y'all respect. Because okay, so listen, here, here go my question then. Well, this but, question to clear up everything. On, on, how was your, how, last, how did she not? This so, is the last thing. Just because he's up in the church, bro, you got to call it for what it is, bro. You got to call a spade for a spade. Literally, no pun intended. If a nigga is doing certain things, you can't support that shit just because he riding with you, bro. Because you know. Let me tell you you something, man. Let me tell you something. Go ahead. Let me tell you something. Anybody that's riding with me, if I was riding with a nigga and he did some hoe ass shit right in front of my face, I'm riding with my nigga because this my nigga. When we get back to where we going, I'm telling you, nigga, don't never do no hoe ass shit like that again. Period, nigga. I ain't doing it. I don't give a fuck what T come out. I ain't going to talk about it before I talk about it. I ain't doing that. I ain't going in on my nigga, even it's if I know he dead wrong. I'm going to sit there and I'm going to chill. But at the end of it, hold on. Hold on, because this is how your people think. This how your this how your team think. You can't make Ebony say one bad thing about Keys, period. I don't give a fuck what he do, because her loyalty is to him, and that's her nigga. 
When she know he did some heinous shit, she still stand on it because that's who she fuck with. And that's how I am with who I fuck with. Now, you might do some shit that make me got to cut you off, just like I fuck with Jackie. When I quit fucking with her, I told her I'm not fucking with you no more. I didn't go live and say it. I told her. She kept going live about me, which made me rebuttal because I don't do that shit. But at the end of the day with this case, the lady said that she never even remember having sex with you. So how was your DNA found in her? And that's why I'm I'm so thankful that we're having this conversation because I came to, to give y'all that. And the evidence is in the pudding. All you have to do is look up the case. They didn't, not, not conclusive, they didn't find my DNA. I've just been sitting up letting y'all talk. But they never found my fucking DNA winner. But guess whose DNA they found? And this is on record. Just look up the case. It happened in 2014, I think March 29th. And it's, I'm Antonio Dewan Keller. Look up the case. They never found my DNA. But people, well, we run with it because he, he, he rocked with you. I get it. So we ran with that narrative. I just never defended myself. But the proof was never out there. I just never defended myself. But that's why I'm talking to you right now. That's it. So when we find out, and I don't need no apology. I don't need no cool. I don't need no cool my y'all. But I'm saying once you find out that everything I'm saying right now is true, all I say is just keep it like that. You can still say fuck me, fuck you nigga when I see you. all that shit. But I'm saying when it comes to being a pedophile and DNA, none of that shit was never true, bro. It was never true. If, if, if TC did it, they went to your house, took computers and all type of shit after the shit happened. Every, wait, just after she it. went to the hospital, her, her shit was stitched up. Why would they pick you up instead of him if it was his DNA? I'm going to tell you why. Y'all ready for the real? Okay. So earlier that day, TC had some homies over. He know what I'm talking about. And they ran the train in my, on, my, on my backyard, in my patio. They ran the train on that girl. On my patio. They were sipping for locos. They ran the train on that girl. We all know this. He know what I'm saying is not a lie. I don't got to make this up. It don't make me look good. Two hours after that, the girl was who she is. And, I'm, and, I'm, and, and you know, Sierra Hoover, I'm not trying to, like, make you go through mental stuff, but you know what I'm talking about is true, Sierra Hoover. Because this is before that night, and you forgot everything, supposedly. All right, baby? So later on, Shadi had an out call. I was pimping at this time. Shadi had an out call at a place called the uh, Fiesta. She goes up in there. It's me, TC, Shadi, and Sierra. I got a cream escalate at this time. She go with her on her on the in call. I mean, on the out call. We all chilling in the car. Sierra says in front of TC that she want to fuck with me. I fuck this bitch in the back seat of my shit. And then he gets out the car and he sits on the outside while I'm fucking this bitch in the back seat. So you want me to tell me, want me to tell you why? Because I sit up there like a dumbass and admit it. I admit it to the police that I had intercourse with her earlier that day. So since I admit it to it, because I've never been in no trouble at this time, I've never been locked up in prison. I'm thinking if I'm telling the truth, that's all it's going to be. You telling the truth. But I'm sitting over here in my, they fucking questioning me. I'm like, well, shit, I know I ain't do shit wrong to her. I don't know what happened overnight. I don't know what, when, when, I don't know what happened overnight and what was going on overnight. But I know earlier that day or earlier that evening, I know me and old girl did. Yeah, shit, we, we fucked in the, in the car. So when I admitted that and then knew the information about some other stuff and I wouldn't fold and I wouldn't give up. And they knew that I was pipping and they wanted to get me for pipping anyway. They said, well, we already know such and such is happening. We need your testimony for it. This is an investigation. It was consensual with you earlier, but blah, 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 blah. So when all that happened, that's how I got charged with it and never convicted with it because they just wanted a case. They just wanted me to co cop to something. At this time, my record was clean and they knew I was pimping and they couldn't get me for pimping because Shadi didn't show up. I had two charges, living off the earnings of a prostitute and I had a sexual assault charge. And they dropped the, they dropped the living of the earnings because Shadi did not show up to court. So that's why. And they got a, had a personal vendetta against me. And me being dumb and ignorant to the law, I admit it. I admit it that I had consensual sex with her. So that's why. Now the truth is out there. How do how do TC what? get out of it? It's 
is already out here. The case is already dead. That's why he can't get in trouble. So I'm not snitching on him now. I'm not saying nothing. I'm just saying, the, I'm just bringing it to the light because I never brought it to light. Well, what happened? That's all. Why do I have to lie when the proof is out there? Do you know when people's case go lie like the, the case is going to be out there in black and white? It's never going to say that they seem have my DNA. It's never going to say that she confessed that I raped her. Like, y'all going off of what TC is saying. Like, that's we, bogus. No, he did the interview and said you did it. But she said she, like, she said she was, she passed out. TC said he passed out too. <laughs> right. So, at this point, is it, is this hearsay from people who don't fuck with me? Like, at the end so of the day, TC, but TC is just making up all these lies on you? That what you're saying? Yeah, and let me let me break this down too. I think you may know this, but at the same time, like I say, that's that's your partner, so I get it. As soon as I got locked up, I'm talking about in less than 24 hours. As soon as this is a nigga that I took because he was he was on probation in Chicago. I mean, he was in probation in Gary, Indiana. I said, "Hey, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you up under my wing." As soon as I brought him to my household. He was trying to fuck. Uh, I knew he wanted to fuck with some females. He said, well, I know I can't fuck none of your females, Capone. I know I can't fuck on Armani or Desiree at the time. She wasn't at Armani. She said, I know I can't fuck on Desiree. And I know I can't fuck on Shadi. So can I bring a bitch out here? And not only am, am I going to bring this bitch out here, I'm going to make a strip and you can have the money. If I'm lying, I'm dying, yo. That makes, no, no, that, make, that makes sense. That makes sense. I already, I already said that in the interview. I already I told the bitch.